Jaron, uh, your thoughts? Take, take me back to the moment when you heard your name called and drafted by the Spurs. Uh, definitely very, very excited. Um, you know, uh, it's something you work for your whole life and to be there, you know, in New York City with your family and friends and people that support you the whole way through, uh, be able to hear my name called and walk across that stage and be a San Antonio Spur. You know, I was I was so excited. You know, my, I really can't explain, you know, how excited I was. Uh, it's definitely a great feeling for me. With the culture that Pop has built here and the championships and all the great players, you know, from Robinson to Timmy to Manu and Tony, mm -hmm. I know you're excited, but because of the Spurs, who they are, what they represent, how much they win, is that any extra pressure on you because it's the Spurs? Um, I wouldn't say pressure, but uh, it puts things into perspective. Um, this is a first-class organization. I obviously have a winning culture, so coming in, um, you know, they have great leadership here, so I just got to come in, uh, be open to any advice given to me by the older guys, by the coaches, and really um, do what I can to help this team out. Um, you know, those guys have been through the battles. You know, they know a lot of basketball knowledge. So right. I just want to come in and suck up as much as I can and, and really better myself as a, as a basketball player. Have you had a chance to talk to Coach Pop, whether on the phone, face-to-face, -face, and if so, just generalize what was that conversation? Like? I have not. I, I met him actually uh, walking uh, out of my uh, pre-draft okay. workout. Okay. That was the first time I met him. Okay. What was that moment like for you meeting Coach Pop? Uh, it was a pretty cool, pretty cool experience. Being able to see him on TV and all he's accomplished, and actually to see him, you know, it kind of surprised me a little bit. All right. You're getting ready now to work alongside and learn from arguably the best player in the NBA in Kawhi. What's that like for you? What do you want to learn from Kawhi? Uh, I mean, it's definitely a great experience. It's going to be um, something that I really look forward to. Uh, he's a guy I looked up to, you know, in the NBA, um, considering, you know, we're very similar in, mm -hmm. you know, body type. And uh, we had similar statistics in college as far as shooting numbers. But it's going to be, it's going to be great. Um, he's obviously worked really, really hard to get where he's at right now. And, um, you know, I'm just ready to learn from day one. And that's the comparison I've heard out there is that you are like Kawhi coming out of college, good at defense, but you need to work on your jump shot. When you hear that comparison, like you're like a Kawhi, what does that mean? Uh, well, it means, you know, nothing, nothing yet. Okay. Uh, I got to put a lot of work in to obviously get to, you know, where he's at. He's obviously one of the best players in the NBA. But, um, you know, for him to get there, you know, hard work is, is something that, you know, he's done. And that's just the culture that they have here. So I want to come in learn behind him and just really, you know, pound away day by day. And, you know, throughout my career as it progresses, I want to add certain things to my game, you know, just as he's done. Have you seen the Jordan Brand commercial feature in Kawhi where they're debating his offense and defense? And so what do you think about that commercial? Uh, the one where it's like, uh, can, all, can Kawhi's offense grow on Kawhi's defense? Yes. Yeah, I, actually, I remember seeing that uh, probably two days ago. Okay, what do you think about it? It's pretty funny, pretty okay. funny. So they asked the question at the end, could Kawhi score buckets on Kawhi? What do you think? Uh... <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. It makes you think about it a It'd little bit. It'd be a great battle, though, right, if yeah. Kawhi could go against Yeah, I would pay to go see that. <laughs> Me too. Um, what are you looking to do once you get to Utah? What are you trying to get better at or improve on? Uh, well, the first thing I just want to learn and get acclimated with the coaching staff, um, with the, obviously with the Spurs guys and Derek and DeJounte and, and Bryn. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to go out there, have fun, and, and show what I can do on the basketball court. You know, that's defensively, guard multiple positions, play with high energy you know, on the offensive end, be able to make shots, um, stretch the floor. Uh, be a guy that can come in and uh, make an impact on the basketball court immediately. Okay. And then last thing, what can Spurs fans expect from you? What's your game? What will they see when you get out there? Uh, I'm a hardworking guy. Come in, um, be very, very active defensively, guard multiple guys, play really hard, um, make shots on offense, and uh, be a team player. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you.